Well, it appears that the more we try to sanitize the electoral process, the more some unscrupulous politicians attempt to scuttle such efforts. A Kichi state police command has now confirmed the arrest of some suspected armed thugs allegedly on their way to the state from Ibado in Oyo State. The police public relations officer Sunday Abutu, who confirmed the arrest, said the suspects were traveling in five 18 city buses along the Jebuja Shai Taure Road when they were intercep intercepted and arrested uh, in Itaore Fualai by soldiers at about three in the morning. And gentlemen, that's how we begin the program. But BKO, starting with you, uh, this is a worrisome trend and. Um, the accusations have you know but uh, has been dropped people insinuating that their mission the mission of this uh, suspect might have just been uh, the ongoing uh, primary uh, election uh, of the pdp in ekiti state certainly uh, the mission was to disrupt the primaries the the party has found it difficult to resolve um, outstanding issues within it in the southwest we've seen um, a former Ikiti governor Fayoshi pitched against the governor of um, Oyo State and um, they had their, their issues but ultimately the candidates supported by the governor prevailed at the zona um, the zona um, was a co Congress of the <coughs> party, the Southwest Zona Congress of the party, and Farashi um, left Oshogo with tails in between legs. Now he's gone back to his state to strategize, and clearly, as I said yesterday, with the decision of the party to not allow um, special delegates to vote in the primaries it leaves the coast almost entirely clear for parishes candidate be secular only to emerge the winner and just today um senator luji who in my view Indeed. is a um is perhaps the candidate uh, the, the aspirant who could have offered some resistance in the real sense of the word decided to pull so out of the race. Withdrawn. So uh, with that, except by violence, uh, nothing will stop um, Bissikola Ole, who was the um, chairman of the party before he resigned, chairman of the party in the state before he resigned to contest from winning because the bulk of the delegates, automatic delegates, are people that he had presided over. It's just like I've been the president of your club and we've been working in tandem together and I have to contest an election. And like 70 or 80 percent of the people who can vote in that election are you people who had been So that familiarity. Mm. Yes, at least the, the those, are, those people he, he's better placed than others to to win um, is best placed to even win the former governor than even a former governor uh, um? than even a former governor who is also I aspiring who yes, is yes. also aspiring uh, course, for, for, for that it's, ticket it's no longer the power behind that former governor was far himself and far has chosen a different person this time it is the nature of our politics uh, nigeria is just similar to pakistan in terms of the power that uh, Godfathers uh, wield in politics, you know, and sometimes when Godfathers um, think that they spent enough money, they too decide to contest, you know, as we saw with Nawaz Sharif, who later became Prime Minister and uh, eventually left office in disgrace. So. All right. Well, that said, uh, Emeka, what are your views about the, this happenings? Um, find there could be a strong strong link between the presence of these dogs before they were intercepted by security operatives and uh, the, the 
you know, the procedure going on uh, there in uh, Ekete State ahead of the elections. But must violence, you know, always be, you know, a strong, um, always have a strong presence when we have electioneering activities like this? Yes, unfortunate, um, well, that Nigerian politicians have refused to, you know, move away from the odious past of, you know, violence, gangsterism, killings, you know, associated with um, electioneering and um, elections. It's very unfortunate. I mean, you find out that instead of going to meet the people, to canvass votes, that's what politics is all about, canvassing votes, talking to the people, trying to woo the people. They believe they can use money and then use thugs, you know, violence to get, to force, you know, their, to force their will down the throats of the people. And, but the good thing is that our democracy is improving, you know, over, <coughs> over 20 years, uh, I mean, uh, 23 years uh, um, by, by 24, no, 23 years by May this year, you know, so, it shows our democracy is improving, you know. If security agents can be as vigilant as this, you know, uh, it's not just because it's PDP that's involved. Even if it is APC or whichever party, every time there is any electionary activity going on, security agents must be vigilant. They must be everywhere to make sure they nip such things in the body. Because who knows how many security agents would have been killed today. Who knows how many people would have been killed today, you know? So, and we'll still go back to the odious past, which Nigerians are tired of. You know, you know, mm. brother, soldiers will do their best, effect this arrest, arrest that, in many cases, the police are reluctant to make. The police and are the, saying they are waiting for the soldiers to hand them with transfer. Uh, well, no, which is the normal thing anyway. But the, the politicians will go and effect the release of this. That people. is it. Ma, in this party happened. Party. I remember uh, the 20, 2007 election here in Lagos and in Ibadan. I remember in Ibadan, General Umar arrested some folks that wanted to disrupt the election. But after that, we don't hear anything. You won't hear that so so number of political talks have been jailed. Politicians who call the pol uh, police commission, anybody on the matter, and tell them to release these people because they still need them to win future elections. It's a massive shame. These soldiers have done well. But I can tell you that these guys, you will start seeing some of these people around now instead of being jailed. This is the way we are. Politicians are a big problem for our country. Big, big problem. Big, big problem. And we, and have, we have uh, sometimes violent combustions in some parts of our country. People will be kidnapped. You then hear that they've been moved to Abuja. Well, by the time they get to Abuja, you, 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 these guys will eventually be released. Surely, so, so surely this, is even a, this is an indictment, you know, you know, of the police. But, but uh, yes, there are realities, uh, you know, that we contend with. <laughs> even if, even if the, you know, the police comes out, you know, and argues otherwise, you know, the, the fact remains that you know nothing much is is known after arrests like like this are made. So I, I don't know how how do we correct this That's trend? That's part of you know what we're talking about police reforms. That the IG should be independent. The commissioners of police should be independent. Should be insulated from political interference. But what do you find is you know we run what you know uh, fella who says a party party system. You know so that the unfortunate thing. But I wish somehow some people would be made an example of. It's not only INEC officials that, would be, that should be jailed. You know, they have been jailed, you know, but INEC should also find a way to get some of these people jailed. 